All right, I know the news has been a little heavy, so let's turn to a current event happening this Saturday over in Davenport. A nonpartisan partnership of local organizations known collectively as Power in Our Numbers will hold a candidate forum. This will give Scott County voters a chance to meet the candidates for sheriff and county auditor. And joining us now to discuss this weekend's event are two of the organizers, Tim Garcia and Frank Holly. Thank you both so much for being here with us. Thank you for, Thank having, you for us. having us. How about you guys start with introducing Power in Our Numbers and what groups are involved in this? Uh, Power in Our Numbers is a brainchild and it's founded out of the uh, Davenport NAACP uh, Unit 4019 and the LULAC Council 10. And the political action committees out of both of those organizations decided to bring the community in, in, in together to get more involved in advancing those uh, issues that uh, politically we were trying to address. So we invited a lot of other local organizations, fraternities, and uh, to join this, this power in our numbers. And that's the basis of that. And of course, you two are both representing the NAACP and LULAC. You kind of mentioned it there, Frank, but really, why, why a candidates forum? Why did you believe that this was the best way to help get that information out? Well, if I can uh, step in, uh, our intent, and uh, we've been at this for a few years, actually, this, it's, but is to get people interested in the election process. And uh, uh, I can't think of a better way to do that than uh, uh, inform them as to who is running for local offices. And so we're, we're, we're uh, trying to inform uh, folks that way and uh, uh, show them the way to register and, and vote. Yeah, all important pieces of that this, this, this is part of our, our we have a, a couple of primary focuses. One is voter registration and another is voter education. So this would be part of our voter education process to, to educate people on who the candidates are, what their platforms are, what they stand for. So when you go out to vote, you know why you're voting for a particular person. So we want to make sure people walk away with that knowledge, that background on, on the candidates. So tell me a little bit about the candidates that are going to be there this weekend. Well, uh, for the sheriff's office, we have uh, uh, Tom Gibbs, uh, the challenger is is vying for uh, up against uh, Tim Lane in the, in the incumbent, and uh, uh, for the auditor it, it is uh, Matt Trimble, is vying for the uh, uh, office of Scott County Auditor, uh, and uh, uh, currently Carrie uh, Tompkins is the incumbent. So, what do you hope voters will take away from this, from getting a chance to meet these candidates face to face? Uh, one, one thing we're hoping that they will be able to see the candidates and, and up close and personal and you know because sometimes it's just a name on a paper you never really get to meet these people now I mean, they can ask questions and they can ask some things that they may not get a chance to to uh, put you know to make decisions on so they, they, hopefully the they would get some basis of knowledge and education and, and, and be able to make a good informed decision once once this is over hmm. and other plans to hold more forums in the future with different candidates? In fact, there are. Uh, in, on uh, uh, October 12th, I believe it is, uh, we, uh, we've invited the uh, candidates for the first district uh, congressional seat and uh, the Scott County, a couple of uh, candidates who are running for Scott County Supervisors, the Board of Supervisors. And we want to stress, too, that this is not just for members of LULAC or the NAACP. This is open to any Scott County Anybody voter. can come along. And we'd also like to stress that this is absolutely a nonpartisan effort uh, on both of our, on, on the entire power of numbers thing. We, we don't care who wins, uh, but we just want people to get involved and be informed. Yep, get registered and turn up to vote. Yes, yes, yes. It's not about who you vote for, but one of the key things is the, the right to vote. Is, is, it is a right. Uh, it's a privilege, and we want people to get out and use that because a lot of people don't do that. So we want to encourage people to get out and, and exercise that right to vote. Ha have a voice. Your voice matters. You have a voice in the decision process of who's making decisions over your life and your community. Thank you both so much for being here today. We hope for a great turnout on Saturday. Absolutely. Thank you so much for Thank having you. us. For you guys at home, we have all the information about this weekend's forum up on our website. All you have to do is click on the As Seen on TV tab.